Hey, what's happening? What's happening? It's been a while. My fault. I've been remiss. We're back on board doing these exercise videos. It's a beautiful spring day. Take advantage. Get outside. Do what you want to do. And, uh, you know, that stuffy gym isn't necessarily the best place to be on a wonderful spring day. Why don't you pan over for one second, sweetheart, and just see, oh my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful day. Well, in the meantime, now, uh, magically, I have my dumbbells starting out with a little bent over row using these dumbbells. Now, what I do to start out is make sure I have those, those knees in place, protect my low back, my head is up, start with those rows. And you pull with the elbows so you you're pulling your force comes from the right place pulling with those elbows keeping those elbows tucked very good exercise from a for a little back size two more for time nice and you know it's it's something when you get older you can't put that muscle size on as easily do what you can and go with what you have because it actually works wonders if you stay with those basic exercises right to the hammer curl. As I said, it's a pull day. And of course, I'm lowering that weight very much under control. And again, you could vary this on the inside or the outside. It kind of hits a little differently. You'd be surprised. How about going back and forth, inside and outside. Inside and outside. And just bounce it back, back, buys, back, forearms, that kind of thing. After that hammer curl movement, resting right here, the classic one arm row. I kind of like to switch grips on this one. I like the underhand grip on this. And, and then go back to the more traditional. Whatever works for you, but I sometimes feel this underhand grip actually works a little bit better in isolating the lats at that point. How about two more for time and I'll switch up. If you rest that arm, on the other leg, you'll find that you'll get a good support system going for yourself. More traditional now with that hand position. Three that way. I'll switch up underhand. You know, all these variations you can throw in. Use your imagination. Multiple angles make for a good physique. How about two more for time? And two. Now I'll go to an interesting move that uh, you know, I didn't incorporate in prior videos. Holding it like a goblet. Just a, again, my knees are soft, protecting my back. Curl. Curl. And you say the dumbbell isn't heavy enough, the, uh, this exercise isn't direct enough, it hits it a little differently than the ordinary curl would, the ordinary dumbbell curl. And the fact that you do it in a concentrated style is actually pretty, pretty effective. I'm feeling it. Squeeze and hard up top. Two more to come. Nice. And after the goblet curl, now we hit the top part, the trapezius traps, of course, right? I gotta be fancy. Pinning those shoulders way up there. The arms are just going for the ride. The hands are just extensions, just carry-alls kind of a thing. Yes, way up top. Way up top. 
always under control. I don't just let the weight fall. A two or three count, top and bottom. Okay, now, something a little different. More of a concentration curl this way, with the one arm. I'm cheating just a little bit, because I'll tell you, right now as I, as I a little bit fatigued, 25s are a little much for me to keep perfect form, to be honest with you. A nice squeeze on top of the movement. Again, using a little momentum that maybe I shouldn't, but <sighs> trying my best here. Nice. Switching up, of course. One's as good as the other, right? Just the fact that you're leaning forward on a little different angle than if you were standing up. It can work for you in a different fashion. <laughs> nice. Well, we went back and forth quickly. Made a quick one for you today. Back and forth, back and bys. Threw some uh, forearms in there. You got yourself a push root, uh, pull routine. You can do with a, and I would say about 15 minutes, and you're out. Again, now I'll just run this hill, if you could pan over, and I'll throw that cardio in right after the weight training session when my body's very efficient at burning some extra fat. Always do your weights first, and then set out to do the cardio. Maybe I'll have my wife just uh, video me, make my way up and down these hills. And I'll do that, maybe, uh, I'll go by feel, I'll do that several times, maybe four or five rounds of that. I'll go inside and stretch a little bit. That's a quickie before work, before anything you have to do in the morning. Get it done, get it done quickly. Because if you put it off, chances are you won't get it done at all, right? Okay. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Please, it helps me out a great deal. If you enjoy the content, my interviews, my workouts, Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks.